So, y'all, I wanted to come in here and deal with a comment, a comment that I've seen several times. I have people that have been um, sending me messages already. I just made the video about uh, Floyd laying in the caves, how I felt about that, my thought process about that. And this is a comment you know, I got a few dislikes or whatever, a couple emails, people was a little angry, and, you know, but this is a comment that I see a lot, so I'm going to break this comment down. For some reason, when I'm trying to respond to some of y'all's comments, it'll just delete, it'll delete my fucking comment on my own page, like, I know some of y'all be like, man, you deleted my comment, motherfucker, I get my own comments deleted, and I don't even know how the fuck it happens, I don't know what the fuck be going on. But I figured I would come and give commentary to this comment because I see this comment a lot. I see this justification a lot. So let's go through this comment left by a one, the Majestic Royal Camp of Blackness channel. And I don't know uh, this black woman's channel. I don't know anything about her channel. I just saw this comment and she had some likes on there and everything like that. And I see this narrative a lot, right? So it says here, I believe the caves should advocate. He chose the caves over his people. Then it should be the caves to speak for him. He chose to jump teams. I support those who support us. Now, in this comment, I want y'all, even the people who have this ideology, the people who make these types of comments, I want you to understand what you're saying. When you say you support those who support us, Understand that you're saying you support those who are pro-black. Now, let's look at this. I've said, and I will continue to say, that 99% of black people are self-hating ass coons. This is a global number that I give, and I would argue it against anybody, based on our behavior. For those of you who are in the mindset to say you only support those who support us, what evidence of supporting us do people be having? Because, you know, this pro-black shit, that's a very small group of people and most of those people faking. So the group is really smaller than we think. So it's not like when people are, when our people are being murdered we look in their history and they was RBG flagging and speaking on our issues and being pro-black. I know that Corin Gaines was like that. She was speaking that shit. So was Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland was speaking that shit. But by and large, the people who they are out here murdering, at least in our, you know, at the time where we're paying attention to this, this isn't something that they're just going to find in the past of these people. That's not something that happens. Typically, they're going to find a so-called, what they're calling criminal records. They're going to find pictures of them, maybe throwing some sets up, putting up middle fingers and all this shit. There's even been some gang members that have been murdered. Now, they may not be laying up in the caves, but gang members that have been murdered, targeted by this system. So when you say that you only support people who support us, that would means it would take for me to be murdered for you to advocate for your people or someone like me to be murdered. Because there are other people, but someone like me would have to be murdered like they were murdering uh, down in, it was uh, in Ferguson. They were murdering uh, activists from there. A activists were dying under you know, fucked up ass circumstances when I know, I, and I believe in my heart that the uh, American 3Ks, don't get this shit fucked up, incorporated government was murdering people. Y'all don't even talk about the people in Ferguson like that. That wasn't even something that people talked about like that. So when you say you will only support the people who support us, what does that mean? I need an explanation of what it means to support us. Do, does one need to be pro-black? Does one need to be on here banging on the system like I do every day? Which, you know, to me, that's the only way we support us is if we banging on the system every goddamn day. Now, I went in for about 30 minutes. So the points I made 
going to completely elude people. People are going to come in with the same mentalities. Typically, they're going to come in with the same mentality that they had before. To me, it's not about him. It's not about him individually. It's about what they do to our people, our men, the men, women, and children that are black. Regardless of whether they were, you know, Pan-African, regardless of whether they was, you know, calling themselves more Israelites, Christian, what they're not checking for all that. Whether they was new in the new Black Panther Party or whether they was on, you know, social media, using their social media to bring light to injustice and bring light to the history of what's going on in this country as our people are concerned. This isn't happening. Most of these people that are being murdered by the cops. 3Ks, they're not, they're not doing this work. So what are y'all talking about? Is it only the ones that are would be dating interracially? Laying up in the caves, as we call it over here? Are these the people? The ones you're not going to advocate for? Is, is, is that just it? Because if you're saying that you're not going to advocate for those who don't support us, then that would mean you're not going to advocate for damn near no black people. Because there is no history of advocacy on these people that are being unjustly murdered by the cops. So if that's what y'all waiting on, if y'all waiting for somebody with Malcolm X mentality to be murdered, one was, that should, you know, they've done that, but typically these are not the people that they are gunning down. We're not looking into their history and finding out that they was, well, shit, this motherfucker every day was on some, you know, banging on the system every day. That's not what's being found. So then who is worthy for y'all to advocate for? Because we've advocated for gang members before, haven't we? And if we're saying that gang members ain't coons, then I don't know what the fuck going on here. So then what's the rule? Y'all need to make clear what the rule is. Because again, I see this thing as a big, it's a big picture. I know they're not checking with people. And y'all talking about advocacy like you advocating means justice anyway. Which is a, a, a very, it's an arrogance that niggas have. Well, I'm not going to defend him. I'm not going to advocate for him because they just... Like you out here getting justice any goddamn way. It's disgusting. What y'all... The, 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 just the mentality... That's why I can't, I, I can't be... I, this is how I know I'm over here. I'm over here by my goddamn self with my B123 shit. And, and, and people don't fuck with me like that. Because I want an explanation. You not going to advocate. Okay. What is your advocacy doing anyway? What has it done anyway? Why can't black folk just stand for their motherfucking people and stand against the system that is targeting our people? Why can't that just be that? I'm going to hold my advocacy over here. I'm not going to speak for her, speak for him. I'm not going to do that. Like you saying something and holding signs or whatever the fuck hashtag you done made up done got somebody put in prison or some shit. That ain't what's happening around here. The fraternal order of police ain't letting it happen unless it's a black cop. Member, I forget the brother's name, I think it may have been something Muhammad, up in Minnesota. Banged on a cave, hole, murdered her. Guess what? He went and did some time. What no long drawn out process? Uh uh-uh, uh, nothing, nothing like that. For that hypocrisy alone, you should be advocating for your people. Period. Because the problem is the hypocrisy. At least it should be for the hypocrisy. But I'm assuming that a lot of this is coming from these black first people. And that's cool. We talked about that in my video. I don't even know if people really fully watch the video because people don't have a tendency to do that. They don't fully watch. Well, and that's cool. But understand, this is B123. Alright? This is my lane, a lane I created. B1, y'all can have whatever y'all believe in. Y'all can have it. That's cool. I see flaws in your mentality. 
It doesn't make fully any sense how you will ride for a gang member that was killed unjustly by police of some kind, ride for a drug dealer that has been falsely arrested or accused or brutalized, but somebody's in the caves who hasn't spoke out against their people, you, you ain't got much work for them. You're going to keep your adv- advocacy to yourself where, where they're concerned. Like your advocacy is either getting people time or freeing our people in any type of way, any goddamn way. We'll only be solidified in our unity, whether y'all want to believe it or not, whether you, you know, I don't see why you don't believe it, but, you know, even within the pro-blacks, there's so much division. And I can't fuck with the ideology that y'all have. How do you, I support those who support us. How do you say that when most black people don't support us? Period. That's just what it is. So that would mean you're not speaking out for anyone. If we're doing that. But I'm sure even this video will be met with some naysayers and some people who will disagree and all this shit. And that's fine. Like I said, this is why I came over here and I'm creating a lane for myself. And I don't give a fuck if people don't fuck with it or don't agree with it or whatever. This is why I can't be B1. Because that B1 shit... That B1 shit... Be on some bullshit like this. That doesn't even really make any sense. Yo, y'all checking for Pan-African flags? So y'all checking for to see if people were speaking out against racism? Because... That's not what we're finding in people's past. But I'm still going to bang. And I'm still going to ride. And I'm still not going to watch anybody. Any one of mine. Be brutalized or murdered. By the cops. Y'all saying that y'all ain't with that. And that's what's wrong with us. Y'all got to do background checks first. That's what you're saying. Because y'all don't learn any of the information y'all know about these people until after they're, they've been killed or been murdered. So what you're saying is that you are a fucking coward that's going to stand by and watch our people be brutalized. That's what I read when I read shit like this. If it's me, you're going to stand there. And that makes you just as much of a goddamn coon in my personal opinion. That's all the fuck I want to say. Y'all comment if you need to comment. Keep it respectful. This wasn't a disrespectful, you know. This wasn't disrespectful. It just, it doesn't make any sense to me how we can have this logic of supporting those who support us and don't nobody support us, even us. That ain't really what happens with our people at all. So then who do y'all advocate for then? So... Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, links to follow me in the description box. And if you think you're subscribed, double check, because YouTube be doing some funky ass shit sometimes, trying to stifle the truth. So, double check, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, black first, second, and third. Shout out to you, Rob, y'all already know what the fuck it is. I'm out.